Okay, everybody, welcome back to grade 10 religion here at St. Augustine Secondary School with Mr. Martinic. Let's uh, begin as we always do with a prayer. And today comes from courtesy of our chaplain, Mr. Pooj Marty, and who is recognizing World Teachers Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, teacher and friend, we ask for your blessing upon all the teachers, especially those at St. Augustine Secondary School. Continue to give them strength and passion in their classroom every day. May their commitment and love for all their students follow your example. Pour your grace upon them, and may the Holy Spirit be with them as they continue to pursue their ministry of shaping young minds and hearts. We ask all this through Jesus, our teacher. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mr. P, for this morning's, this afternoon's prayer. Those of you who missed it this morning for the reflection. Okay, everybody, welcome back again. And we are going today to be talking um, and looking a little bit deeper into a social justice champion by the name of St. Paul, okay? So we've been focusing on Jesus. Um, today we're going to focus on the story of somebody who did who accomplished quite a bit for for um, for our faith uh, after Jesus. Okay, so once Jesus left us here uh, from the earth, uh, we have we had these group of apostles that were left over to 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 do something to create this faith to spread the word and one of them was saint paul now i'm sure if you some of you have heard of saint paul before maybe you've even studied saint paul a little bit deeper but in great time we'd like to remind you uh, a little more about saint paul specifically um how he relates to being a social justice champion okay and it's very important and um once we go over saint paul's story a little bit more detail we're gonna have a discussion question okay we're gonna participate in a discussion uh and then um and then finally um you will be given an assignment a timeline assignment okay that has to do with one of the social justice champions from the previous um assignment the infographic okay this time it's going to be a, a, a timeline type of thing a special kind of timeline okay but uh, before we go further I'd like to remind everybody that I have po I have updated um, over the weekend I, I took a look at some of the I took a look at everything I could uh, marks wise just to give you a little um, report uh, or, or to or, for, or activate to finally be able to turn on the ability for you to look and see, you know, at any given time, um, what what your mark is at. So, okay. So let me just go over how to do that. Okay. I'm gonna share my screen here. Mm, sure, sure, sure. Hey, yep. Yeah. Oh, sure, okay, so sorry. So, so, so speaking of marks, did you like look at the things I turned in? Because I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to go to the CBT without forty percent. Yeah. So this is a progress, um, progress report. We don't have to speak about marks and things, right? Right now, this is a, a, a recording, right? But, um, uh, so it's the numbers you see is based on what I have, right? Now, I, I was going through things Saturday morning. Uh, and Friday evening, okay? So anything that kind of came in after that, um, you're gonna have to wait, right? And this goes for everybody, okay? So I go through the things um, that should be done at that time. Now, if there's something that you weren't able to, to, to get in at, at that time or for whatever reason, you know, I'll be happy to go back and take a look, um, okay? And that's not a problem, right? But you're gonna have to be patient, all right? So that, so that marks update will, will, will constantly change um, based on what I've managed to get to, okay? The advantage of doing things on time, of course, is is you have an opportunity. I have an opportunity to give you feedback, okay? And, and maybe an opportunity if you need to improve things for next time, 
So if you're kind of stuck and waiting last second to do something, um, and I'm not saying you are Tafari or but anybody, right? If 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 if, if there's somebody that is doing that, um, you're going to run into problems because you're going to end up doing things incorrectly and you won't have an opportunity to fix them and stuff like that. Okay, so you really need to get things done proper on time, and at some point I'm not going to be able to go back and look at stuff. Okay, All right? I just I just won't because it'll be there's just too much, right? So, you know, right now, you know, um, there's a certain amount of assignments. If you're missing something, okay, go ahead. Uh, play posits. Play posits something you can always catch up on. All right. But again, if you wait to the last minute, it's extremely difficult. It's very time consuming. Much easier to do them on a daily basis, right? Three or four minutes a day sure beats hours, you know, later on. Okay. Where where and don't forget the play posits, um, you know, uh, will will prove useful to you, right? When we're learning about those parables and miracles. Um, in a timely fashion um, <clears throat> blog posts the same okay if you just do your blog posts on time it's very difficult to to do them quickly and properly and if you have questions or something comes up you're not going to be able to get the answers right if, if you don't do them in a timely manner okay so um, I'm going to show you here if you go to classwork now actually I, 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 I can't really show you because I don't have the student view, but you, you should have, everyone should have like a button. I think it's up here on the top left or for you guys, or maybe if you click the, the, the hamburger menu or something, there should be something where, where it says view your work. Okay. So if it says that, then, 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 then you click that and then you should be able to see um, uh, Mark's progress or great progress. And let me just show you what I base the marks on here. Okay. Uh, I think I've gone through this already, but just it, it, and it's just a reminder, right? So you've got the knowledge type of worksheets and things, okay, and discussions and, and the smaller type of um, assignments, okay? You've got the play pose it, which is the thinking. You've got communication, which is the blog, your website, and the application. You've already done one infographic. Today you're going to be assigned um, a timeline Sutori activity. So there will be two, maybe three things there, okay? Not very many. And then find the CPT. So currently, your, your mark showing, whatever it's showing right now, is really only the first four categories, right? The, the CPT is currently not, not there. So, uh, you know, um, Really, the, the 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 mark would be like a like a like a, a zero for CPT, right? Which would greatly lower your mark right now, right? So, so keep that in mind, um, okay? And just so you understand that, that if you're missing blog posts, for example, that's one quarter of your mark, right? Um, uh, at the moment. Right, so so if you didn't do a website or, or blog post or any of them yet, a couple of you are in that boat. I'm trying to figure out what, what's going on. Maybe you haven't published your site, or if I'm not able to see it, I can't give you any grades for it. Right. So so make sure you know, and then the play posits as well. The other thing is with the play posits, you know, we do one every day, whether you're here or not. I try to release one on a daily basis. So even if you're if if you're at home, and half the class is in the class. I'm still expecting you to do it. If you don't do a play poses or two, the, the, it gets zero. So, so you could have done ten play posits and got, you know, like a ninety percent average on them, and that's great. But you throw in there a couple of zeros, that drops significantly. That's like a sixty now, right? You know, because you add a few zeros, it's just simple, right? You just, you know, you would divide that up. By a number of play poses, that's what it does for me, right? It takes your average from all the play poses, but any zeros just kill, just kill the mark. So you, you know, you make sure you keep on top and you do them all. Okay, it's very important. All right, so that's the current update. Uh, you know, and it's, it's just a good opportunity for you to see what you're missing or or to see where you're at. And and uh, if you did, if you have got everything finished. Uh, to make sure you're doing it properly and getting the, the full marks. And please always read the feedback, okay, um, because that's important, you know, for next time, you know. 
All right, so let's begin with St. Paul. Now, St. Paul is a, uh, sorry, uh, we're not gonna begin with St. Paul. Let's go back a second. Let's begin with today's Play Pose It. I'd like to thank Melissa, Melissa, for today's Play Pose It, okay? I'm gonna release that right now. I'll give you a couple of minutes to, to get that finished, okay, before we go further. All right, just give me a second here. Make sure I release it, All right? So you don't finish it ahead of time. Okay, and it's up. All right. So head over to playposit.com, complete Melissa's um, play pose, and thank you for that. And we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, folks. It appears most people are finished. There's a looks like there's about two or three people that have kind of stalled here. Um, so I'm going to ask you to pause and 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 just stop working, okay? Since most of the class has finished their play pose it, okay? And then we are going to um, I'm going to continue on with with today's lesson, okay? So just pause, please, and you make you may you may finish your play pose it afterwards okay <clears throat> all right so back to saint paul saint paul as a social justice uh champion okay so how did saint paul um um how did he meet expectations of our of our seven principles of Catholic of Catholic social justice? Okay. Well, for one thing, Saint Paul um, clearly did a lot to promote community. Okay. And I don't know if you're going to see. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you two maps. Okay. Two maps here. Let me. This is very important. Okay. Yes, let's see if you can see my screen here. Okay. Perfect. So look at this first map here. Okay. St. Paul did a lot of traveling. He did so much traveling. Um, so, of course, just to recap, you know, same after after Jesus um, leaves us, um, then we have uh, these apostles, and then we have, you know, Saint Paul comes into the picture, and and he he becomes like a, a big leader in the church. Right, you got Peter who who sticks around that area. Okay, if you look, it's like the the ancient uh, area there, the Syria and Jerusalem there, and Saint Paul um, decides he's going to to spread the word he's going to try and build this church to be bigger so he travels quite a bit now take a look at these maps right that's the first of his travels okay so if you look very carefully you see um you know um modern day greece and and all the way over here okay this this, this would be like turkey over here and, and right this is just to get a sense of what what we're looking at this is big distances, right? There's no cars or planes, you know. Maybe he's traveling on horseback. Maybe he's walking, okay? That's a lot of travel. Look at this. Then he, you know, second time he goes even further. I mean, look where he's traveled all the way across here. This is, this is you know, this is um, years of, of work, okay, he's putting in here, all right? You know, three or four years of, of solid work to grow the church. So he's really promoting a sense of belonging and, and uh, community, okay? Um, the other thing he does is clearly he goes to places where there's, it's not all Jewish people. So the original Christians, the original church after Jesus, they were all Jews. Jesus was Jewish, okay? Paul. Peter, the apostles, all Jewish. So who's going to join this faith? Who, who are they going to invite? There was a big debate. 
you know, do you have to be circumcised to be a, a, a Christian, a follower? Did Jesus only come to speak for the Jews? Or was he coming to to save everybody? Was Jesus are Jesus' teachings um, are, is everyone invited, you know, to be to 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 join God, God in heaven once they pass from this earth? Well, Paul made it very clear, you know, that there were some arguments and he decided, no, no, it, this is for everybody. And the word Catholic means universal. So Talk about um, a social justice principle, okay? And and um, so all are invited, okay? You do not have to be Jewish or circumcised. And this is huge, right? This is a big thing, okay? So Paul travels and travels and and he, um, um, you know, fights for the rights of, of people from all races and, 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 and backgrounds to become Christian, okay? And then um, finally, perhaps one of the most interesting parts of Paul's story is that he he sacrifices. Um, he really suffers in order to to do his work. You know, in the end, he's killed. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll blow the ending for you there. But um, let's have a quick look at his story. Okay, so I'm going to share share with you. Um, and let's follow along in this, in this neat little version I found, which will go through very short, very quick, but it'll go through um, how he has uh, spread Christianity, how he um, uh, has suffered uh, and sacrificed for his faith. God's story, Paul. So part of God's story is about a man named Paul, and it begins like this. Paul was born in a city called Tarsus. Back then, being born in Tarsus was about as cool as being born in an amusement park. So Paul thought he was cooler than other people, especially the ones who were following Jesus. Paul turned into a real bully. He found ways to get people who were following Jesus thrown in jail, beat up, and even killed. One day, Jesus yelled from the sky, Paul, Paul, why are you acting this way? Then Jesus shined a really bright light, brighter than the sun, right into Paul's eyes. Paul couldn't see anything for three days kids, never look straight at the sun. Remember what happened to Paul. After Paul could see again, he decided to listen to God. And not just listen. Paul decided to spend his whole life telling people about God and God's son Jesus. Paul knew if he was going to tell people about God, he better get to know God. Paul found different ways to get to know God. Sometimes he fasted, which is when you skip a meal or many meals, and spend time praying to God instead. Other times, he snuck off alone so he could sit and listen to God. Paul said getting to know God was like training to run a big race. Sometimes training for a race takes work, especially if you want to win. Just like it can sometimes take hard work to fast or sit quietly and listen to God. But for Paul, knowing God was way better than winning first place, even if the prize is a million billion dollars. Once Paul knew God, he was so excited that he wanted to tell everyone, even people he didn't know. Paul became a missionary. A missionary is a person who goes to new places and tells people about Jesus. And even while he was doing this, Paul was writing lots and lots of letters telling other people about Jesus. Now sometimes, Paul found out that not everybody wanted to hear about God, but he told them about God anyway, just to make sure everybody had a chance to hear. Have you ever tried talking to somebody when they weren't listening to you? The people started getting really mad at Paul when he talked. They threw rocks at him, beat him up, put him in jail, and even tried to get rid of him completely. Guess what Paul did? He said he'd be happy to go to jail, get beat up, and even die if it means more people know about Jesus. Well, God was with Paul when he was getting beat up and put in jail. One night, God even sent an earthquake to open the doors of the jail so Paul could be free. But instead of escaping, Paul stayed to tell the prison guard about Jesus. Later on, Paul was sent to a bigger city with a bigger jail. To get there, he had to take a boat. During hurricane season, one of the storms hit Paul's boat and it got shipwrecked. Sorry. So he had to swim all the way to a nearby island. Picture swimming in the North Pole with penguins. That's how cold Paul was. But as soon as he saw there were people living on the island, what do you think he did? Yep, 
He taught them about Jesus. Paul never stopped telling people about Jesus and how Jesus loves everyone and wants to help them stop doing wrong things and teach them how to know him. He got put in jail at least four times, was shipwrecked three times, and was even bitten by a poisonous snake. But Paul didn't care what happened. He was so happy knowing God that he just wanted everybody else to know God too. And that's the story of Paul. So in case you missed Okay. There you go. So it is time for our discussion. But before, just before we get to the discussion, okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll post the discussion. Let me do that first. To be a social justice champion, is it necessary to suffer? Is the suffering and sacrifice a necessary part of being a social justice champion? That's the question. Take a moment, please, to answer the question. Okay, and don't forget when you answer, you give an answer and give an example. Right, you wanna get two marks. One mark is an answer and the other is either an example or, or reason why, right? Reason why, so an example or reason why or, or both. So I've posted that now for you. Pop up in the stream there. So, for example, for reason. Okay, folks, get that discussion going. Put your answer down. Is it necessary if you're a social justice champion, to be a social justice champion, do you have to have had some suffering or sacrifice in your life? Do you have to suffer for your message or your cause in some way? Do you have to give something up, whether it's your time, whether it's your luxury, whether it's your comfort, even if it's just something, right, your money, something or a little bit of something in order to be a social justice champion so think of all the social justice champions you've looked at a few already okay if we look at the ones that i've been showing you like jesus and saint paul they suffered greatly they paid the ultimate price right jailed killed beaten you know hungry okay but you know most social justice champions on that list uh, that you got earlier this this semester you know, they, they have all at some point had to have, you know, struggled a little bit to get to where they're, where they're at, okay? So whether it was when they're writing a book or when they're preaching things or talking things in, at work or something where it wasn't always popular, it, it, it may not have been, um, you know, it may not have been something that um, they wanted, you know, to do because it would have been easier not to. It was, you know, difficult, but they persevered, right? And they felt the 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 social justice and what they were doing or what they are doing is more important than their comfort. Okay, so they sacrifice and they suffer. But is that necessary? 
Do you have to sacrifice and suffer to be a social ju justice champion? Can you still be comfortable and do good things? Maybe you can. Maybe that's not a requirement. Okay, or maybe it is. Some people feel it is because some people feel that without suffering, you will not never understand injustice, right? Or without giving something up. Others feel, well, no, that, that's not true. Maybe you're just you're just successful, maybe financially. You can be a social justice champion just through your support, all right? Um, supporting something in a big way, uh, maybe never having to suffer. I don't know what the answer is, but all right. Okay, we got some answers coming in. Great. Thank you, Veronica. We got something there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Some other opinions on this question. Okay, so um, if you're shy and you don't want to answer at the moment, um, that's fine too. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give a few more minutes for some answers. Okay, let's have a few more minutes, five minutes to put your answer. After that, you could answer um, uh, later on, okay? And, and I'll have a look at them and, and grade them accordingly. Remember, always you have to have an answer plus a, an example or reason, okay? And or reason to get the full two marks. While you're working on that, folks, and your answer, I'm going to be setting up. We're going to do a little game. We're going to do a little vocab jam, eh? What do you think? Let's do a little vocab jam. We'll do a quick one. Okay, I'm going to set that up while you're answering. So we'll start the vocab jam in four minutes. In four minutes, folks. Okay, thank you to all who are answering our discussion. Very good. These look great. Okay. Ah, granite. So for, for your answer looks good. Uh, to make it the, the, the best it can be, um, give an example of a good reason um, to, 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 to sacrifice. Okay. Looking good here. I'm just taking a quick glance through some of the answers. Okay, and you should go. You should be able to go back and edit your answer. Um, I think I've left that on, but, it, but if you can't, you can just add another line. If you're missing something like a reason or an example, okay, an example. The, the words for example are, are extremely helpful. Okay, always, always in any class in any course when you're answering questions like this. Okay, one more minute. For the vocab jam, folks, I'm going to post the uh, code here. Okay. All right. Those of you who are finished the, the uh, discussion, and uh, even if you're not, um, and you and you plan to answer the question uh, later, please join us for a very brief um, St. Paul vocab jam, okay? We're going to do a vocab jam here with St. Paul. We have terms and words that have to do with St. Paul's story, right, with the definitions, and we're going to play against each other. We randomly put on two teams, either a red team or um, 
I think it's red and blue or red and green, I don't, if I remember correctly. And then, then you will um, try to see if you know, if you can guess the correct um, definitions. Okay, we're going to start this jam right now. Oh, oh, did I give did I give everybody a chance to join? Oh no, no, wait a second. Uh, only four of you. Oh no, only four people have joined. Okay. Okay, join us in the chat. In the chat is the um. In the chat is the code. So just join at any time. Okay. All right, looks good. There we go. Four more, four more, guys.
Okay, looks good, folks. All right, last question coming up. Last question here. Here we go. Congratulations, Anonymous Aardvark. Get that one right. All right. Woohoo. Thank you, everybody. That was great. That was good fun. Good job, Blue Team. Okay. Good job. All right, everybody. What we're going to do now, thanks for thanks for jamming with us for the vocab jam. We're going to finish off, and I'm going to explain your assignment now. I'm going to explain your um, the, the, the Satori timeline assignment, okay? First thing I'm going to do is give you an example. So uh, I've, it looks like it's already posted, but don't don't jump ahead. Okay, wait for me to to explain it for you. Okay, all right. So it's going to be down in the application. This is an application uh, type assignment. Okay, so it takes a little longer than most assignments. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you an example. Here is one um, I used to sometimes I would give the assignment uh, as a, as a St. Paul type of. Um, uh, assignment uh, okay but yours is not going to be on saint paul right yours is going to be on a social justice champion of your choice from the list so you can do you can do either the social justice champion that you worked on for your infographic or you can work on another one from that site and i've included the link to the site with those 15 social modern day social justice champions okay so you pick one. Now, here's what a Satori looks like. It's pretty cool, okay? So when you go to Satori, you're gonna log in. So it's satori.com, you log in, and when you log in, you log in with the uh, Google button, okay? There'll be a bunch of buttons, um, right? Here, I'll show you. I'll, I'll click here, you log in with this one, okay? The Google button, and you use your school account, okay? And basically, you're making a timeline. So you gotta pick a social justice champion. It could be the same one you did for the infographic, and you take their story and read about their story and pick five five significant events that they um uh, that happened to them like that that are part of their story five events okay so you're gonna have five events in a five event timeline each event is going to have the title uh of the event so you can even start with the introduction like this person did okay and you have to have at least three boxes okay a, a text box a picture box and um, a did you know box right here. Did you know box? Now, this this one here has extra boxes. Okay, A is for extra, right? A is always for extra. So if you want to get a level three or 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 seventy five percent, you you would do three boxes: text box for the event, explain the event, a picture box. And a did you know box, which is an interesting one, interesting short little point about the event. Okay, then for extra marks, you can do like a include like a little video clip or or a quiz. Okay, or, or a little quiz. Okay, okay, pretty cool. So this person did the story of Saint Paul. Uh, I think this is a ten event timeline. Okay, this was a bigger assignment, but here you can see um, a, a title for like here. Here we have one event in Saint Paul's story. The conversion text box explaining the conversion picture box and a did you know box and if you look carefully they didn't put anything on this did you know box so this this was not very good but they did put an extra uh, quiz thing okay so this would have got almost um uh, almost full marks here's another um event okay Tra his travels 
text box, picture box, did you know box? And then they added as a bonus, a little, a little um, quiz. And by the way, this stoning refers to um, torture stoning, not, um, uh, not the other kind of, of, of getting high and whatnot. So uh, again, there's more travels here. So he's got all kinds of events happening, this uh, person, okay? But this is just an example of what a Sutori looks like. So events, right? So you're gonna have five events, right? And then you're gonna have these boxes, okay? So that's going to be, and then the way you hand it in when you're done is you, you click share, okay? Then you should be able to get um, a link that, 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 that you can share it with. Let me see. Um, well, I didn't make this one, so I don't have that option, right? I, I, it's not going to give me that option um, to 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 share uh, because I'm not the owner. Okay, so you're you're going to have that option um, when it comes time to hand it in. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to go to share, and there'll be a link. There'll, there'll be like a uh, more information here. Okay, there'll be a link. Embed code is something else. Embed code is when you want to embed it into your website. Um, but we're not going to do that. You can just hand in the, the, the link to your Satori. Okay? So you'll have different options here. But make sure you, um, when you're finished, check out the options, the sharing options, okay? And, and then get that link. If there's any issues, um, we will we'll, we'll figure them out. Okay? So you've got some time to work on, on this. I'm going to see uh, half of you tomorrow morning. Which half? Uh, that's a good question. Let's have a look here. Uh, I'm going to quickly look at the calendar. Okay. Who's coming in tomorrow morning? Um, okay. Coming in tomorrow morning. Let's have a look at the quad one calendar. I believe it's cohort A. I believe it's uh, cohort A tomorrow morning. Uh, one second. Just look at my calendar here. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what happened? Where's my cohort? Where's my, oh, there it is. Um, oh no, tomorrow is, yeah, cohort A, the sixth, regular blue. So cohort A tomorrow coming in uh, in the morning. All right. And uh, the rest of you can be at home working on your sutories that you're going to start today. Okay. All right. So, um, not sure if there's any uh, questions. Uh, looks like Gurney's Wi Fi is not working. Sorry to see. Sorry to hear. Hope they get, hope you, hope you get that fixed. Uh, what's the code, Michaela? Okay. So, uh, that's okay. We, we just jammed. You can join us for our next jam, okay? And if there's any other questions about the assignment, the Satori assignment, okay? So it's the timeline. Pick your social justice champion. You can use the same one you did for the infographic, or you can just pick another one from the group of 15 that I gave you. Um, five events in their story. Each event has three boxes. Text box, picture box, did you know box, and um, also, if you want to do a bonus, add a, add a quiz box or a video box, okay? The instructions are written for you in the post. Michaela, um, uh, sorry, Himal's got a question. Thank you. Uh, can we choose any? Um, I would prefer if you chose from the 15, okay? Um, that, that's, that's, that's my preference. And, and if you have a specific person in mind, you, could, um, you can always, uh, uh, on, the, on the assignment post, you can always ask there, and I'll let you know. Okay, um, I, I want to avoid the usual common, well-known people that every, we all know the stories, right? So 
uh, I want you to focus on somebody who may not be as well known. So if you know someone like that, if, if, if you have someone in mind that isn't mainstream, uh, popular and, and taught, you know, and uh, well known, sure, you can suggest someone else and I'll let you know, okay? Just put the name, just reply to the post privately to the, um, uh, open the post and reply and I'll, 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 I'll say yes or no, okay? Otherwise, you can choose from the 15. Uh, Michaela, oh, for the assignment. Okay, all, all good there? Good. Um, yeah, so it's just uh, the links should be all there for you. And uh, to go to Satori and, and begin doing make, making your timeline. All right, folks, we've come to the end. If there's no further questions, I will let you um, go, go forth. And, and work on those uh, social justice tutorial timelines. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a good day. Uh, all right, bye, sir. Have a good day. Bye, bye, Tafari. Oh, and sir, remember to to look at the things I sent you. Oh, for sure. All right, all right, bye, sir. Have a good day. Bye, bye. Goodbye. Yes, thank you. Praise Basma. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Musa. Bye-bye.